by the way, to all the people, all the kids, if I went to elementary school, middle school, or anything like that, if you made fun of me and my eyebrows or anything else, ha. <laughs> y'all we're back with another video i'm gonna be reacting to my old facebook page i think it's from like 2011 real old so probably around freshman year of high school somewhere around there you're probably wondering did you not have a facebook in middle school or what happened what's going on yeah i did not have a facebook in middle school guys i did i didn't even get my first facebook page until the summer going into high school that's when I first got introduced to everything. I was real late, late bloomer, and that's only because of my parents, mostly my dad. So, dad, if you're watching this, talking about you, yeah. Yeah, my dad was, um, you know, kind of protective over the social media stuff, as any parent would be. But, you know, that was really restricted for me, so I got a late jump into it. So, if you're wondering why you don't see even older pictures of me, that's why. I'm on my main page. <laughs> As you can see, I don't know what I'm gonna see here. I don't know what I'm gonna run into. But whatever we see, we're gonna see it together. So let's let's take a look at this. So I'm on the front page, the main page, profile picture, cover photo, all that, the whole shebang thing is up here. And let's start off by looking at this status. Well, hold up, I kinda wanna look at the profile picture. Let's start with that. Wow. Oh my God. First, my eyebrows are like raised so high for no reason, I don't know why. But I obviously thought I was really cute, real cute. And I remember that shirt too because that was like one of my favorite shirts and I was so cute in it. Anyway, this is my cover picture. Hmm, kinda dope. Not really, I don't know, what, whatever. But I remember that game, it was from, uh, we played Ottawa High School and it was at Ottawa, so we got some action shots from there. Thought it was a good idea to put it as my cover photo. But uh, let's look at this first status. Walking my, if I can get the mouse to scroll. Walking my dog. Walking my dog and a seven year old boy stops me. Boy, you must be mixed, huh? Me. Yeah, how'd you know? The boy. You're colored, uh me haha ha, are you mixed boy no i'm brown i mean black or whatever you call it okay yeah i remember that that was actually a funny moment anyway trey burke yes trey burke i used to be obsessed with this man i you i made a song up about him um i think my junior year of high school i made a song about him and just some weird stuff because I actually got to meet him and I think that picture is on here I got to meet him um, at the mall I think it was at the mall he was there signing I got to talk to him and it was crazy it, it was dope but I was real proud of that obviously because I posted my autograph picture up here let's see yup I was right I was right. So that's when I actually went to uh, see Trey Burke, and you can see I'm mighty happy, mighty happy with my big head, just leaning over trying to get my face in the picture. Sophomore year. Hold up, before I really get into this, you can see I did not post a whole lot of statuses. I did not just randomly type up how I was feeling and put it out there. I did a lot of pictures. I treated Facebook like Instagram. I, don't, I didn't even think I had an Instagram yet. I got my Instagram my sophomore year of high school. So, yep, I was a Crescent Polar Bear sophomore year. Oh, so yep, I probably got my Instagram around this time. Polar Bear, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is, an, this is an important meme. I really, I really felt this, especially in 2013 because I was um, in the teen years, so I, I was probably not the nicest person around to my mom. But I love you, mom. 
So this is when I decided, so on August 6, 2013 is when I decided to post uh, this lovely, lovely picture as my profile picture. And while we're here, let's just look at, let's look at the eyebrows. So I've come, I've come a little bit of ways. By the way, to all the people, all the kids, if I went to elementary school, middle school, or anything like that, if you made fun of me and my eyebrows, or anything else ha because look my thickness like played in my favor thank you very much anyway um yeah so I was over plucking my eyebrows a little bit in the middle a little bit too much and yeah they were they were starting to separate in this picture but luckily they grow back they grew back and so I'm okay now so um that's just a nasty picture I would never post a bit. That's just a nasty picture. Anyway, the important thing is I thought I was cute then, so it works. Doug, this is me and my friend Doug from high school. And we went to the Upper Peninsula and we were in this forensic science camp. We dissected a fetal pig. It was great, it was real fun. So yeah, that's me and my friend Doug. Hey Doug, if you're watching this, what's up? Yup, there's my status about taking this long, this long bus ride. Guys, it was so long. Luckily, luckily, uh, the seats, they like folded into, it was weird, like bunk beds? I don't know. So I just remember on the way back, they folded into bunk beds, but I could actually lay down on the way back and go to sleep. And it was like a bed, so it wasn't really that bad on the way back, but the way there, oh my god. Long, long, long. Oh, this is me and my family. Look at Jalen looking all chubbalicious. <laughs> it's all right, Jalen. You know, you, you hit puberty. You, you grew up. And I grew up too, because I, you know, I can't really talk. But yeah, so this is me and my family. I believe we were out of town. Oh, that might have been Kentucky. I think it was Kentucky. Maybe Chicago? I don't know. I actually had an AAU tournament, so we had some games going down. So, you know, AAU tournaments out of town was always a family trip for us. So, you know, we took advantage of that. Uh, yup, number one. And obviously, we were out of town on that weekend, and we won. We got our little t-shirts. First place, we were so cold. Oh, oh, there I am, if you're wondering, just all happy-go-lucky with my shirt. Uh, yup, we won again. We, we were very successful, as you can see. And we went 3-0 and that day, and I felt the need to post that with my picture. I thought it was important to let all you guys know with a bright smile. Yep. Those are my little babies. Those are my little babies, Brutus and Bella. Um, Bella's actually not here with us anymore. that but uh, I still got Brutus over at my parents house he's over there chilling being Brutus and stuff um, yeah, thanks for my birthday wishes yes. my sweet 16 I don't know guys I don't know. I think that's pretty cute it kind of reminds me it kind of reminds me of like like the Chuck E. Cheese I don't know if it's still like that but I know at one point um, it was like a when you go in Chuck E. Cheese, they had like the Chuck E. Cheese and four squares in a picture, and it was like different colors, different color Chuck E. Cheese. Anyway, that's what that reminds me of. Kind of giving off the Chuck E. Cheese vibe there. But, uh, yeah. My class ring. I, I take a lot of pride in my class ring, and that's just because my grandma had her class ring from the high school I went to, my mom had her class ring from the high school I went to. And I have my class ring from the high school I went to. And so, like, when people talk stuff about, oh, why you get a class ring and it's not that big of a deal to waste the money. No, it's not. I have my class ring and I'm going to have it when I'm old and I'm going to be able to give it to my kids. So, I feel like the people who really say that are the people who didn't get a class ring. And so, to make themselves feel better, they'll say mean things about the people who did. Like, why? Why would you do that? Just because you're salty doesn't mean you got to be mean to other people. Mm. Anyway, guys, I'm like, 
look at this. That was my birthday outfit. I thought I went all out. I think I had my name on my necklace and everything. Oh my God, look at that. That was at Crescent. I miss those days. And anyway, you know, I think, what day? 2013, I don't remember how old I turned, but it must have been a good day because I made a post about it. There we go, we won again. 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 Again, we won both games today. So sassy is my little chihuahua in the back. And Zoe, she had a diaper on because she knows she was in heat. But she uh, she is my pit bull in my parents' house. Both of them are at my parents' house. And yep, gotta love her. Apparently I was on my way to Flint and all conference for basketball. What was that, my sophomore year of high school? Uh, yeah, Rashad and I got all conference for basketball. We were at Creston. We got to go down for the whole thing. I remember it was a big deal because not a whole lot of people um, were known to get all conference, especially in basketball. And for me, you know, I had to set the tone. So that was really big for me coming in as a sophomore and all that. But yeah. So, I am sorry, forgive me, please. I said Mexican newspaper, and I know that offends people, I'm sorry. I didn't know, I was a sophomore in high school, was not educated, so I do apologize for that. But uh, I was in the Hispanic newspaper, guys. And I was, yeah, I was really caught off guard, I think. I actually, as soon as I found out, I cut it out. I got it laminated. I put it in a frame and I hung it up because I'm like, I gotta show this off. I was on the front page, guys. Like, why not? You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, about to break her arm off, literally. Yeah, that was in the game at Creston. Sophomore year again. You gotta hustle. I was a hustler, so. I was gonna end up with that ball, as you can see. Look, why my hand is like, it should be flipped like a lot more. Like if I wanted to be icy for real, I should have had that boy flipped. But uh, it was game day in this one, it was game day. Look at my braces. I had braces for like eight months, guys. Maybe like six months. But I only had them like from this to this too that's it just those ones so I only had them for that short amount of time but I'm telling you when I had them I used to love that I could change the, the um the rubber bands and stuff it used to be the best just because you know I like to match and that was like who know who not many people can match their mouth the rubber bands on their braces with their outfit or with what something so I was I really like that a lot So, I mean, okay, some of this is like repeat stuff or like this is from, I really added a lot of effect to that. A lot of fire. I must have been hot. But, yeah, I don't know, I'm not, I, I think I'm gonna, oh, look at Zoe, she's so cute. But, I think I'm gonna cut her off there because, I mean, we've seen a lot of pictures, a lot of pictures best friend pat oh my god guys this is my best friend pat and i miss her so much but we went to high school together this is us uh, i believe that's sophomore year yeah yeah i think that's sophomore year freshman year sophomore year i don't remember but yeah that was the game day because we were dressed up and excited but Photos, you know, like we've been looking at a lot of photos. Photos, okay, we saw those. All right. <laughs> Look, I just gotta share this one. This is me when I was in fifth grade, right here. Yup, first time ever playing basketball. 
I actually started playing because um, I wanted, because the boys, I started playing because the boys said that the girls couldn't. The boys tried to tell me that because I was a girl, I couldn't play. So you wanna know what I did? I said, ha, huh, watch me. And I made it all the way to college basketball, so ha. Huh. So that's how I got started with that. Had to do all that just to prove a point that girls can play basketball too. So yeah, I'm not gonna keep I'm not gonna keep going through all these because I mean, I don't know. There's some juicy stuff. Like, like look. Um the Victoria Precious me. We were, I think, we were at Davenport that day because we had a field trip and everything. That was good times, good times. My dad and I, I don't know why my head is looks so big. I don't know. But yeah, that's me and my dad. I got my little varsity jacket, crested polar bears, basketball, volleyball, get at me, check me out. And what else? What else I got? I don't know. Maybe if you guys wanna wanna go over there and check some things out, definitely feel free to. I mean it's up there for the public, so fair game. But yeah, guys. Thank you for going through that with me. That was kind of cringy a little bit, kind of. Like some stuff was like, why would I post that? That's why you gotta be careful what you post on social media, especially the young ones. If you guys are not careful what you put out there, it'll come back to haunt you. Maybe not, maybe not how people tell you like, oh, a job is not gonna hire you or whatever, but it might be embarrassing to look back at. So be careful make good choices be smart about it but that's it for today's video thank you guys for tuning in don't forget subscribe like comment follow me on instagram don't forget all that stuff very important because i don't want you to miss these things all right all right so thanks again for watching and i'll catch y'all later